Good Friday morning, people of Skidaway Island, United Methodist Church. I'm here to share a devotional today about prayer. Uh, prayer is something that we take for granted. It's something that we fail to do with our own heart freely, but it's something we do many times begrudgingly. There's a scripture shared several times, and, and this one I'm reading from Luke uh, chapter 11. It's where Jesus time and time again would go off and pray and to have time of prayer, and his disciples noticed that. And so uh, here in uh, Luke, he shares of the disciples asking Jesus a question. Many times Jesus asking them a question, but in this setting, the disciples asked Jesus a question. One day Jesus was praying in a certain place. When he finished, one of his disciples said to him, Lord, teach us to pray just as John taught his disciples. Jesus said to them, when you pray, say, Father, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Give us each day our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, for we also forgive everyone who sins against us and lead us not into temptation. The disciples hungered for a way to pray because they saw Jesus praying and they wanted that same thing. So they asked Jesus to pray. Prayer can lift us and remove us from our, our whatever's holding us down. Prayer can inspire us. Prayer can, can see us through. There's a great story I love of a man who whose wife had left him. Uh, he was completely depressed. He had lost faith in himself, and he'd lost faith in others, and unfortunately had lost faith in God. He found no joy in living. Now, on one particular morning, rainy morning, he went to a local restaurant to have a breakfast to, to forget about things for a while. And, and so several people were in the dining area and the dining room and nobody was talking to each other. It was dreary, dreary day. And so here our friend was sitting at the counter, stirring his coffee with the spoon, just looking down. Well, in one of the booths was a young woman, a young mother with a daughter with her, a little girl. And the server came over to bring them their food and the little girl spoke up and said, Mama, we haven't said our prayers yet. Can we say a prayer here? And the waitress looked down and said, sure, honey, uh, you can you can pray. Why don't, why don't you pray for us? We pray here. And so the little girl stood up in her seat and looked at everybody and said, bow your heads. And surprisingly, one by one, everybody started putting their heads down. And, and so the little girl folded her hands and bowed and said, God is great, God is good, and we thank him for our food. Amen. That prayer changed the entire atmosphere of the place, and it changed the attitude of the people. People began to talk one another. Uh, people all of a sudden had a brighter outlook on their face, including our friend. He saw that he really had things that he had been taken for granted, that there were things that he should be thankful for. And it's this little girl's example that showed him that God, God did care for him. God did love him. May we find that prayer can move us, can, can comfort us, can challenge us as we live our lives for God each and every day. Enjoy your day. Amen.